You are involved in a car crash and your car is severely damaged or totaled. You can't get to work, you can't use it for everyday things, but you still have a bodily injury claim you'd like to settle too. Can you settle one before settling the other? Hi, I'm Frank Nunes. I'm a California personal injury attorney practicing in the state of California. And yes, you can settle your car damage claim before you settle your bodily injury claim. While the two different claims come from the same accident, you can in fact resolve one while the other one is still in the process of being resolved. Clients come to me all the time. They're still treating for injuries they have from the car crash claim, but the damage to their car has been done. And they need a car to get to work, take their kids to school, pick up their errands, do their grocery shopping, what have you. In California, everybody needs a car to get somewhere. So you want to get that car claim resolved as quickly as possible. And guess what? The other driver's insurance company does too. If there's coverage, they want to get it resolved for you as quickly as possible because it keeps down your loss of use claim. In other words, the amount of time that you would have to rent a vehicle to replace it. So what do you do with that instance? Well, you arrange for the other driver's insurance company to come out and inspect your vehicle. They will tell you if the vehicle is what's called a total loss, meaning it's going to cost more to repair it than it would to replace it, or if the vehicle can in fact be repaired. This is one of the few instances where it's okay to communicate with the other driver's insurance company and give them an opportunity to come out and inspect the vehicle. When they do inspect the vehicle, make sure you discuss nothing about the underlying facts of the case, nothing about your injuries, nothing about the other claims and damages that you might have from the case, but strictly focus on the vehicle or the car that was damaged in the crash. After the inspection, you'll receive either an estimate or a letter from the other driver's insurance company telling you if they're going to pay to replace or repair the vehicle, whichever is the lesser of the two. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, because if you have questions, I have answers to those questions. I'd like you to pick up the phone and call me at 559-436-0850. I'm Frank Nunes, and thanks for watching.